chapter or Psalm 116. I love the Lord for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy because he turned his ear to me. I will call on him as long as I live. Amen. Amen and amen. And just a pause here. Just so much, so much right here. I love the Lord. I bringing past present. I can truly say I can truly say that as well. I really love the Lord. I find the Lord and I just feel in such awe and such just wonder about his mercy, about his everlasting love, about his his power, everything, the good shepherd. It's just I stand in amazement every time I see see things, see people. You know, we're all created in his image and just how beautifully woven everything is. It's, he is the best artist. Let me tell you, <laughs> move over all of those other artists that we've had in history for we have an artist, trust and believe, and his name is our Lord, the good shepherd. Amen. Hallelujah. But just, and also thinking about that and he heard my cry for mercy because he turned his ear to me. I will call on him as long as I live. And bringing past to presence, even on that, we too can call on the name of our Lord. We too can ask for mercy, ask for forgiveness, ask for healing, bless him, praise him, give him, give him the praise that he deserves and acknowledge him and have that fear of the Lord, which we've talked about many of time, fear of the Lord, knowing that the Lord is all power, all glory, all holy, all just, the good shepherd, the provider, uh, brings us salvation and just all amazing, all amazing, right? And here is a description of that, of that right here in the Bible with these words, something that we can pull in and really take to apply to our lives, to our own situation, no matter how fast paced we are, no matter where we're at in our journey with the Lord. And you know what? I encourage you, if you don't have a journey with the Lord, I encourage you to really listen, listen to those subtlenesses like People always look for the biggest thing. They always look like something major's got to happen. It was even a prophet, you know, pro beautifully told to us. There was an earthquake. There was a volcano eruption. There was a thunderstorm. There was all of these things. And the Lord, it, the Lord wasn't any of those. But then there was a quiet, there was a whispering wind, a whispering wind, a gentle breeze, and that's where he heard the voice of the Lord. Because the Lord knows us. The Lord knows our character. And we're, you know, <laughs> there's even a state that has a thing called show me, you know, <laughs> show me state. <laughs> and we are that type of people. We are a type of people that want it proven all the time. And we'll, there's all kinds of places in the Bible where even people in the Bible are like, prove it. <laughs> The people of Israel over and over again to leave Egypt. Prove it. The While they're in the desert, you know, you're going to provide everything for us. Prove it. People in general, people all around are like that. And so we know we can accept and know and understand and have trust, faith in our Lord and Savior. So I know there's a lot here. There's a lot here. And he knows us and he... <laughs> He speaks to us all the time. He's at work at all times. What kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel and what does it make you think?